What do you think about this big story going around in the silver and gold community? Unicoins. It's a new international central bank digital currency that was recently released during a big IMF conference. What are Unicoins? Are they really backed by the IMF? Another CBDC electronic currency, but most importantly, what does it mean for the price of silver and gold? Silver and gold are real money, God's money. They've been valuable for thousands of years. And what does it mean that we now have this international CBDC Unicoins? Are you serious? I have a hard time keeping a straight face when I say the word unicoins. But most importantly, we need to talk about what's going to happen with our silver and gold. Silver and gold are becoming more important than ever for us to protect ourselves, to protect our families, because the big money, the big bankers in the West, they're getting super nervous about the major level of change going on in the world. And we know the Eastern countries, the BRICS countries, and all the other countries that are cooperating with the BRICS, they're setting up their own financial systems and, most importantly, they put a high level of preference value on the precious metals, on silver and gold, and that will lead to higher prices for silver and gold. So it's no surprise that the Western leaders are fighting back, coming up with all these concocted, magical, unicorn fart dust, digital currencies, whatever you want to call it. And the latest one to make big news was this Unicoin. Let me read to you about what the Unicoin specifically is. It says today at the International Monetary Fund spring meetings, the Digital Currency Monetary Authority announced their official launch of an international central bank digital currency, CBDC, that strengthens the monetary sovereignty of participating central banks and complies with the recent crypto assets policy recommendations proposed by the IMF. Does this type of nonsense ever get you thinking like, hey guys, why don't you just go back to silver and gold? They worked really well for thousands of years, but they'll never do that. And you know why? Because that would require them to be honest. You are the most important part of Ron's Basement. There is no Ron's Basement without you. I wouldn't be down here if it wasn't for you. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy the content. Please give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. You are important. Your ideas matter. And that's how we learn from each other. And just who is this DCMA, the organization that's pushing this new Unicoin? The DCMA is a world leader in the advocacy of digital currency and monetary policy innovations for governments and central banks. Membership within the DCMA consists of sovereign states, central banks, commercial and retail banks, and other financial institutions. Sounds like a group of upstanding organizations now, doesn't it? Silver price and gold price are going to do quite well because while the West is desperate to hold on to whatever power and value and financial control they have on the world, the Eastern countries are developing their own systems. And don't forget, they're also buying and hoarding silver and gold because they know the truth. They know that it's real money, just like you and I know, and that it stood the test of time. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. And while initial reports led everyone to believe that the IMF was behind this new Unicoin, 
there's now some controversy and separate reports that are saying that the IMF is denying that they're involved in it. It's all very confusing, but we do know that the major world governments, the United States, the United Kingdom, all the Western countries are working on their own CBDCs, their own unicoins, or as we like to call them, unicorn. Unicorn fart dust, because that's all this stuff is. It's sorcery, it's magic, it's smoke and mirrors, however you want to say it. It is really no more than unicorn fart dust, paper, electronic, you know it. And what is real money? What has stood the test of time is silver and gold, and it will continue to do it in the future. So we got all these changes going on in the world, and the West, with its massive debts and make-believe money, is trying everything they can to, to, to put forth new options, new ideas as to what really is valuable in the world, we know what is really valuable in the world. And soon the silver price and the gold price will reflect that reality. Thank you.